Hello everyone! Welcome back to our virtual classroom of English. This is Anastasia. And this is Olga. So let's start our lesson, which is dedicated to learning the difference between the present and past participle of the adjective. Today at the lesson we are going to learn the difference between them and, of course, practice the usage of the correct adjectives in context. So, today we'll find out whether this boy is bored or boring. Are these children excited or exciting? Is this lady's job is tired or tiring? Are you intrigued to find out? It's time to brush up your knowledge. So, the present participle of the adjective, that is the ing ending, is used to describe the person, thing or situation which causes the feelings. Look at the following examples. Amazing, boring, exciting, interesting. Another type of participle adjective is past participle. So let's see what is it. So past participle is formed with the help of the ending ed. And past participle describes how people feel about something or somebody. Let's see the examples. Amazed, bored, excited or interested. Now let's read and compare the usage of the ed and ing ending of the adjectives. I was really bored during the flight and it was such a long, boring flight. Why do we use bored in the first case? That's right, because this is how I feel. What about the second example? It was such a long, boring flight. Why the adjective is boring? Because this is how the flight is described. Wonderful! Another set. I watched an interesting documentary about the American history and I'm interested in the American history. Why do we use interesting in the first example? You are perfectly right, because this is how the documentary is described. What about the second example? I am interested in the American history. Great! This is how I feel. Dear students, have you understood the difference between present and past participle? Let's see and practice together. So, the sentence number one. Do you feel worried, worrying about them? So, pause and write the word. Ready? Let's see the answer. Do you feel worried about them? We speak about feeling. Good! Another example. It's an amused or amusing little story. You should read it. Please think. Is this the present or the past participle that should be used in this case? Let's check. Ready? It's an amusing little story. You should read it. We say amusing because we describe the little story. Next sentence is the following one. I had a boring, bored weekend because of the rain. How do you think? What kind of participle we should use here, present or past? Let's see the answer. Ready? OK. I had a boring weekend because of the rain. Great! One more sentence. She was absolutely fascinating or fascinated by his idea. Please pause and insert the appropriate adjective. Are you ready? Can we check? Let's see. She was absolutely fascinated by his idea. Wonderful! Great job! Let's continue challenge. It's challenge time for you. We propose you the sentences and your task is to underline the appropriate one. I speak about present or past participle. So, number one. He was frightened, frightening, when he saw the spider. How do you think? Ready? OK. Let's see the answer. He was frightened when he saw the spider. Do you have the same answer? Great! Are you ready for another example? Good! This maths problem was so confusing or confused. Please think. Is this how I feel about the problem or is this 
how the maths problem is being described. Pause and underline the appropriate adjective. Have you written? Can we check? Good! This maths problem was so confusing. If you have the following answer, then you have understood the participle of the adjectives really well. Ok, let's see the next one. The people I work with are satisfied, satisfying with their job. So, choose what participle can be, present or past one. Ready? So, let's see the answer. The people I work with are satisfied with their job. Do you have the same participle? Great job! One more. I have recently read an inspired or inspiring article. Please pause and write down the correct participle of the adjective, the ed or the ing ending. Are you ready? I have recently read an inspiring article. Wonderful! Are you ready for another challenge? You have been given two tasks of choosing between the present and past participle of the adjective. Now it's your turn to show how well you have understood their usage. So, you will be given a verb, for example, interest. Your task is to form the present or the past participle of the adjective from this verb. Let's see the first set of sentences. It is the most thing I have ever seen or Bill was in constructing the new model. Please insert the verb interest by modifying it into an adjective. Are you ready? Please pause and write. I think that you have managed to insert the words, so let's check together. It is the most interesting thing I've ever seen. Right. And Bill was interested in constructing the new model. Okay, let's see the next one. Shock. So your task is the same. So to use participle using the ending ed or ing. Let's see the sentences. I was when I heard that information. This situation was really. So pause and write the correct one. It should be shocked or shocking and where? Tell me us. Tell me please. Okay, the answer will be. I was shocked when I heard that information. The situation was really shocking. Do you have the same answers? Great job! It was that they didn't come to the party and Seb was when he saw them leaving. You should include the present or the past part or the participle, the past participle of the verb surprise. So you should change the verb surprise into the adjectives surprised or surprising. Please fill in the gaps with the correct, appropriate adjective. Pause and insert. Done? It was surprising that they didn't come to the party and Sam was surprised when he saw them leaving. Do you remember the questions at the beginning of the lesson? Can you now easily identify whether this boy is boring or bored? Great, he is bored. Are the children excited or exciting? Yes, you are absolutely right, they are excited. What about this lady's job? Is her job tiring or tired? That's right, she feels tired, but her job is tiring. Wonderful! Great job! So, we think that by the end of the lesson you feel excited, interested and inspired by the exciting, interesting and inspiring job you have done. Let's keep this mood for all the upcoming English classes. Now we are absolutely sure that you know how to use the present and the past participle of the adjective. And you won't be mistaken when saying I am bored or I am boring. Have a good day! Goodbye!